아, 안녕하세요. 매일매일 운동하기를 실천하고 있는 동사 왕포입니다. 아, 오늘은, 어, 어제 운동을 진짜 많이 했어요. 여러분. 진짜 여러분들이 안 믿으시겠지만, 진짜 많이 했습니다. 영상으로 턱걸이 했잖아요. 얼마나 기운이 없어 보였습니까? 진짜 거짓말, 거짓말 조금 섞어서 온몸이 알이에요, 지금. 제가 지금 스트레칭을 살짝 했는데, 와, 스트레칭 하면서 막 땡겨가지고, 큰일 날뻔 했어. 거짓말을 담백하게 싹 걷어내면은, 곳곳에, 곳곳에 알이 되겠죠. 어, 그래서, 스트레칭 마저 하고, 팔굽혀펴기 딱 10개만 하겠습니다. 내일 퇴근하면 은 이제 서울로 갈 거예요. 서울 집에서 있으면 은 서울 집에서 운동하기가 좀 불편해요. 아시잖아요. 그 좁아가지고. 서울 집에 가서도 내일 팔굽혀펴기 10개만 할 겁니다. 그리고 화요일 날 바로 돌아올 건데, 점심 먹고 돌아올 건데, 돌아오면 은또 다음날 다시 또 새벽 출근이에요. 그래서 그날도 10개만 하겠습니다. 3일 동안 팔굽혀펴기 10개만 하고 주로 스트레칭을 하면서 몸을 좀 몸을 좀 쉬는 그런 명상도 운동이고 여러분 스트레칭도 운동입니다. 이 영상을 보시는 분들 중에 집에서 하루에 스트레칭을 10분이라도 하시는 분들은 몇명 없을 거라고 생각합니다. 기지개라도 피시나요? 기지개? 기지개도 훌륭한 스트레칭이죠. 이 또한 안 하시는 분들이 많습니다. 음. 일단 CNN을 보면서 스트레칭을 조금 더 하고 Is encouraging and figures when it comes to those infection rates in so many European countries. So you're seeing a slight easing of restrictions. It happened in Italy. We expect Angela Merkel to look this week with German federal state premiers at whether it is time to start lifting uh, those restrictions in Germany. But those are the countries that have really opted for fairly strict uh, lockdowns these last few weeks. France, for instance, has bucked that trend. So what we've seen is a country that uh, decided to leave in place its curfews to see whether that would stabilize figures. But there are many here in France warning that further restrictions might need to be tightened because they haven't opted earlier for that sort of tight lockdown. So at the moment, we're seeing here in France new infections of around uh, more than 20,000 uh, a day. ICUs, just as in the UK, as you mentioned ago, a moment ago, are full. And the question was that, that whether that delicate balance could see the country, country through. Now, the worry here in France, as with other countries, even those looking at easing their restrictions, is that even if the figures are now stable, there is is this problem of the new variant and specifically here in the EU, the one first identified in the United Kingdom. So to give you an example, Kim, early, early January, that represented 3% of new cases. End of January, that's 14 come dominant by the 1st of March. And then, of course, bull bets are off. Yeah, things could change very quickly. All right, let's go to uh, Salma now uh, in the UK. So, um, you know, those warnings about the ICUs, they're being full notwithstanding. Health officials say the, the country is now past the peak of this wave, but it still could be weeks before restrictions are eased. So why is that? There are some really promising signs, Kim. I mean, the key indicators do look much better. You have the number of hospitalizations has gone down. The number of people testing positive for the virus has gone down. But you still have more patients with coronavirus currently in hospitals than you did during the first wave of this pandemic. So simply not out of the woods yet. And even if those numbers did come down in those hospitals, the concern is, as you just heard from my colleague Melissa, is this new variant that is up to 70% more transmissible that could potentially be more deadly, according to British. Officials. So you simply cannot ease up. You cannot open up and put this variant at risk of spreading again. Really, your only protection here is that vaccine. The vaccine is the way forward. It is the shield. That's why you see the authorities moving as fast as they can, as quickly as they can to oh. vaccinate people. Uh, already, over 11 million people have received the first dose oh. of their vaccine. That's about one in five adults in this country. Just a short time ago, the vaccine minister was on air just about an hour ago. 
uh, going through the details of the program and how far they've gotten. And here's what he told us. Uh, there's the key target, the first target. The government believes that they are on track to hit that. February 15th, 15 million people, key vulnerable groups, all should be vaccinated. That's what the vaccine minister said. The second target, the next target they're going to try to hit is to get all people over 50 by May. So massive progress happening there. Uh, just to give you an idea of how fast this is happening, Kim, the vaccine minister said on Saturday there was one point in which 1,000 people were being vaccinated per minute. All right, uh, Salma Delzi is braving the weather there in London and Melissa Bell in Paris. Thank you very much, both oh. of you. Now, earlier I spoke oh, to the emeritus professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and she also oh. led Hong Kong's uh, government inquiry into the 2003 SARS outbreak. And I asked her how worried she was about those new variants.